Hello everyone, it's me, the Rural Local Maniac. I'm back again with another video. Now, this is the return of my Blast from the Past series. Now, for those who don't know what my Blast from the Past series was, basically, it was a series of videos of me talking about a classic games from the good old days. Well, actually, it doesn't have to be um, classic. It can be a game that we just remember fondly. And, yeah, a game that we used to sort of, like, quite enjoy playing back in the good old days. So, yep, let's get down with it. Let's get the show rolling. Now, as you can see, today I'll be playing Werewolves of London on the good old Spectrum. So, I'm ready to do this review old school. Got a cup of coffee. Oh, that's a great coffee. And, like I was saying, old school basically means that I'm recording the game and playing it at the same time. I went through a phase where basically I was um, pre-recording everything, uh, doing a bit of editing, and then doing the voiceover afterwards, and that's not the way I'm doing it now, mainly for the reason that my Windows Movie Maker is playing up. It's not letting me edit things, so this is a lot easier doing it this way. It's a long process, but to hell of it. Now, Werewolves of London is one of my favorite games ever. I absolutely love this game. Now, the whole point of the game is we've got to try and find the people that have cursed us. Now, I'm that little fella there, and when you see that cross flashing, that basically means there's one of the people nearby that's cursed you. Now, that guy dressed in black there, that goth guy there, he is one of the bastards that's cursed me. So, if I turn into a werewolf, I get to kill him. So, I'm looking forward to that come back. Now this game is somewhat inspired by American Wealth in London, which I'll be honest with you, is one of my favourite films ever. I absolutely love American Wealth in London. It's a classic film. Let me trap this guy in there, and that's why you trap him. You just go like that. It's a really simple game, this game. It's absolutely brilliant. It's got lots of little neat touches, which I'll talk about in a second. Now, I think I got this game for about 2 99 and the reason why I loved it so much was because I could show it off to my cousin who had an Amstrad for the fact that on one side of the cassette was a Spectrum and on the other side was um, an Amstrad game. So, yeah, we could play both versions and see how they, you know, matched up. They were very similar, actually, apart from the colour, of course. All right. Now, like I was saying before, I love my horror films, especially American Wealth in London. It's a classic, classic film. Now, if I could just turn into a werewolf, I'll show you what I can do. In the meantime, let me just show you what I've got on the screen. On the bottom left, I've got that red thing that looks like a first aid box. That's like my blood bank or blood thingy. When that drips uh, dry, that means I'm dead. That thing down there, that blue thing, is my file. So if I get locked up in prison, I can file my way out of it. Now, I think there's about six or seven people that I'm meant to kill. There we go. I've killed him. Shit, the police are after me. So, I think that thing I've collected is like an underground ticket or is it money? I'm not too sure. Now, I absolutely love this game. I mean, like I said, I'm a big fan of um, American Wolf in London, so it was great fun to actually be a werewolf in an actual game. I really enjoyed doing it. This game's full of, exp you know, you've got to explore things. You get to explore, like, the forest. You get to explore uh, the underground station, which, funnily enough, I actually work for an underground station. So, um, yeah, it's fun being a werewolf. Now, I will be doing loads more videos um, in the next couple of weeks. I've been somewhat sort of not doing many for the fact that, you know, I've been busy with work, spending time with my family and so on, but I've got two weeks off work. Woohoo! Two weeks off from work, so I'm going to just be having fun, making videos while my wife's at work, the kids are at school, so yeah. What am I to do? I'm going to record a few videos, upload them, and while they're uploading, play some Xbox. Guys, I admit, that's what I've been up to. I've been playing my Xbox 360. There's loads of games I've been playing. Yeah, but this game, I don't actually remember it in game magazines. I don't remember, like, many great reviews, which is a shame, because this is an underrated game. It really is. It's a classic game. It's a lot of wandering around. I think the most people I've killed in this game, I've got those crosses, is about three or four. Actually, about three. I think you're meant to kill about six or seven. 
Now I'd quickly like to plug my 1HMPS blog. My 1HMPS blog, there's a link to it on my YouTube channel. Just follow that if you like. Basically, there's a few things there. You'll find, first of all, my blog, which I talk about you know, films, there's film trailers, there's game reviews, there's other random ramblings there as well. And also what you'll find in there as well is a forum. I've got a new forum called the 1HMPS Forum. At the moment, it's just a bit of a small community. Actually, it's more of a five-a-side football team. Guys, don't worry. This time, uh, the site won't get nuked. It won't go anywhere because... Um, basically, I'm a lot more controlled what I'm doing. I've got no pressure this time round. It's a nice, friendly community so far, so please check it out. If you want to talk about games, films, Xbox, whatever you want to talk about, feel free to stop by and check it out. Again, you'll find that on the blog, which is um, linked to my YouTube channel. And also, I've got um, a monthly podcast show. Now, I'm looking forward to this month's podcast, which is episode 3 of the one hour monthly podcast show. It's going to be a horror theme podcast. So check that out. It comes out on the 24th and you can find that on iTunes or on my blog as well. Now back to the videos. I've done enough of that plugging thing. This is a classic game. I'm just wandering around aimlessly now. Let's check out the underground station. How do I get in there? I can't find anyone to kill. Let's go this way. It's a great game, but you know, when you're hunting someone down. Alright, werewolf time. Oh shit, the police. Ah oh, man, they arrested me. Oops. Yeah, you can go down manholes and stuff like that. I don't know what's happened there, my computer's frozen. Alright. So yeah, you'll find certain items that you can remove manhole covers. You'll find, if you go down the manhole, basically you'll find that it's too dark, so you need a torch to actually see where you're going. And you can also use a torch, like at the underground stations, when you go through the tunnels. And I think, you, if I remember carefully, you can get shocked by the, um, the traction current, so best to avoid the railway lines so guys I will be uh, like I said before resurrecting my weekly series of videos 8-bit wars cinematic games retro reinvented blast from the past oh someone else is cursed it's that lady it's that goth lady I think I'm running out of time anyway from my YouTube time limit I think it's 10 minutes, so I'm not going to be able to make it, guys. I'll let her get away. I'll let you escape. You can run away if you want. Yeah, I'll be doing my weekly series again, but not on a daily basis, just randomly throughout the month. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. I should be releasing loads more videos through this month because I've got a lot more time on my hands. I've got two weeks off work. Uh, my wife's at work, so during the day, apart from sitting down playing Xbox and watching TV, I'll be making game reviews. Okay guys, I shall see you next time. Thanks very much for your time. Goodbye.